This is Otto, a seven-year-old boxer who belongs to Dan Heffron. Otto was diagnosed with a deadly brain tumor in 2021. Take the pointer finger on your left hand and touch your nose. And this is Julie Hinseth, who's 59. She was diagnosed in 2020 with a similar, nearly incurable brain cancer, glioblastoma. She's had surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, but the cancer came back. Julie and Otto enrolled in clinical trials at the University of Minnesota that use virtually the same experimental treatment. A neurosurgeon and veterinary surgeon teamed up to treat and operate on Otto and other dogs with brain cancer and then shared their data about safety and dosing with a neuro-oncologist treating Julie and others. Hi. Hi, Otto. Julie, along with her husband, Doug, and daughter, Kelly, met Otto for the first time last spring. Two patients, similar cancers, different species. What's it like to meet Otto? Oh. <laughs> I'm crying, you know. <laughs> Inflammation in Julie's brain makes it difficult for her to speak. I, I never thought I would be having a conversation with a, a person and, uh, and a dog who were having the same treatment. Who have the same treatment. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I didn't realize until now. Yeah, and I didn't until after his first surgery. Yeah. You know, what sort of an impact that he was going to have, you know, not only for him, but other dogs and humans. But two months after that meeting, Otto's symptoms worsened. It appeared his cancer returned. Dan took him for a final swim in his favorite river and then said goodbye to the dog he called his best friend and a medical pioneer. Good, Otto. Julie Hinseth's symptoms have now worsened as well. She stopped taking part in the trial and is spending time with her family. She told us she's grateful to have been part of an innovative interspecies battle to find new treatments. I helped fight cancer. It gives you satisfaction to know that you helped fight cancer. Yeah. I've had two dogs who have had cancer, and mm -hmm. the idea that that cancer can be studied and treated and it can have an impact on humans is yeah. incredible. Mm. May be the key, right? Yeah, dogs may hold the key. Yeah. 